keeping up with the motto that learning is a joy and teaching a pleasure. Here we are with the remote teaching and learning process to bridge the gap. Happy learning, students. Hello, students. We are going to study with lesson number three of standard nine, exogenetic process part one. In this chapter, we have already studied with chemical weathering and mechanical weathering. Today, we are going to study with section C, that is biological weathering. Biological weathering, biological weathering, also known as biogenic weathering. Besides mechanical and chemical weathering, biological factors are also responsible for weathering of rocks. So, biological weathering is the weakening and disintegration of rocks by human beings, animals, plants, and microbes. Now, let us study in detail the different causes of biological weathering. In the given figure, we can see the roots of the plants. They grow in the crack present in the rock. Now, students, you must have ever visited any fort. You must have seen trees growing on their minarets. You must have also seen pieces of rocks getting separated because of the roots of the trees. As the roots grow bigger, they create tension in the rock and they start breaking them. The next reason for biological weathering is the growth of algae, moss, lichen, and other flora. They grow in the rocks. They make the rock brittle, and slowly and gradually, the rock breaks. We can see in the figure how human activity is also responsible for weathering of rocks. While constructing transport routes, digging of wells, or extracting minerals from mines, explosives are used. These two leads to weathering of rocks. Now let us study what is mass movement, also known as mass wasting. The weathered rock materials start moving along the slope due to gravity. And accumulate near the foothills or the gentler slopes. This process has been happening for years. The weathered particles form a conical hip at the foothills. When weathered particles move down due to gravity alone, the process is called mass movements. We will look out different types of mass movements. That is rapid mass movement on steeper slope, while slower mass movement on gentler slope. Rapid mass movements, mud flows, masses of mud flow down slope and spread out in a fan shape at the bottom. It occurs in a dry mountainous region during heavy rains. Let us study in detail what is rapid mass movement. Rock falls, landslides, land subsidence. It occurs rapidly. The effects are very destructive. The probability of these events is more in the regions having humid climate and steeper slope. A thick layer of weathered materials forms on the slope. Now, when it rains in such areas, the rain water penetrates the weathered materials, and their weight increases. The weathered materials move very rapidly and come down the slope. In the given figure, we can see landslides and rock falls. These are the examples of rapid mass movements. Rapid mass movements also lead to slumping. Sometimes the weathered materials they do not move down but sink. That is in situ. This is called as slumping. A slump is a form of mass wasting that occurs. When a coherent mass of loosely consolidated materials or a rock layer moves a short distance down a slope, movement is characterized by sliding along a concave upward surface. The next type of mass movement is slower mass movement. In slower mass movement, especially occurs in areas with dry climates and gentler slope. Mass movements occur slowly. Soil creep is a common phenomena in such areas. Now, this slide happens when a section of soil or rock suddenly gives way and moves down a slope. The materials move as a single mass along a slippery zone. The slippery zone is often made up of wet sediments, creep in a very slow mass movement that goes on for years or even centuries. Soil friction is one of the type of mass wasting. Soliflucian is a name for slow downhill creep of soil in periglacial or alpine region. Periglacial region that means related to an area adjacent to a glacier 
or ice sheets subject to repeated freezing and thawing. It occurs slowly and is measured in millimeters and centimeters per year. Like weathering and mass movements, erosion is also an external process. Now what is erosion? Erosion is the process by which the surface of the earth gets worn down. Erosion caused be, can be caused by various agents of erosion like wind, running water, glaciers, sea water, ground water. We will study the agents of erosion and the landforms produced by them in the next lesson. Thank you.